was uh, that's when the that's when the swimming begins. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I think I'm good. Well, Danny, American over in England. Pretty typical, though, that we have to send you in the grey skies. But how are you finding life over here? Oh, man, I can't. Uh, I love it. You know, I love the weather here. It's the thing. I, uh, I miss the sun sometimes, like every day of my life. But, like, it's an, it, you know, I love being here. The competition's great. Love the environment. Love the people, genuinely. Like, the comp, like my dark game seems to uh, hit new heights, it seems like, every time I'm here. Like, I just, I love, I just love the competition, man. It's just, you know level of play here is just different 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 gravy you know how difficult a decision was it to make the move over here and how many sacrifices have you had to make well it's difficult man it's it's, it's it was it was hard uh, it, it is hard every day i miss my family uh you know my son my wife like ev like everyone like honestly i miss and you're missing little things my son's three my daughter's uh she's probably seven she's i don't know why i said probably obviously she's seven but like um no i like i it's just hard. You miss little things, mm -hmm. little daily things back home, and it's um, it's work, you know. This is what it is. Here at the Super Series, so we've seen you a couple of times here now. How are you finding the experience of that? Love it, man. I love being here, man. I, lo I love, I love, I love playing on stage. It's like my thing, you know. Like I, it, that's that's what we all want to do. We want to play well on stage, and it's nice to be offered the opportunity to be back here to do that. Um, I don't feel like I, I played that terrific today per se you know i had a uh, challenge for this last weekend in M mk and uh, you know just a little off and on ultimately i felt good looking forward to tomorrow but uh no i'm happy to be back man looking forward to tomorrow and the rest of the week really and every time we've seen you here we've seen you get better you often qualify for the saturday nights are the goals then shifting from qualifying for saturday to then maybe make that elusive move to champions week yeah man i mean i like this last champions week was was terrific man like luke littler's just playing just phenomenal right now and uh no yeah obviously that's 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 the goal i would love to to be in that situation um one thing i've learned about myself though it's like one day one game at a time you know sometimes you look ahead mm -hmm. of things you miss miss what's in front of you so i'm just trying to kind of take it one game at a time right now how is this being perceived back in america no, it's huge, man. We all love it, man. There's there's so much talent back home, and it's I, you know there's a lot more North Americans coming here and playing well. Mm -hmm. You know, you got Jake Taylor from Canada, like coming here and like doing his thing, like playing well, playing solid. Leonard Gates, like some of these guys, really. Alex Spell, like everyone's coming here and playing well, and that's good to see. Finally, uh, more people traveling here and actually doing well. And I, you know, I think that the, for me anyway, the way I play my game, the way I live my life, like just being surrounded by it every day in the culture is better than like because it's a long travel you know some like the people in our group uh like mal is you know australia like mm -hmm. that's a long flight and to come here you know the day before and expect to play your a game is just not easy to do and um fortunately you know thanks to my new management and everything going on living in stratford upon avon um it's just like being here playing super league doing the things that everyone else has been doing is it's been helpful to kind of uh i don't know just kind of regulate my daily game here at, at different levels so i it, it to answer your question it's it perceived well i think like very well mm -hmm. you know i think that we're just going to be a lot more north americans coming back hopefully playing and playing well and competing with, with the best in the world you know do you feel like obviously you're one of the first players from north america to come over here and play at what was then the livey do you feel like you've opened up doors for north americans in this particular tour and maybe elsewhere I like to think that I'm a part of that process. Obviously, I uh, was fortunate enough to be one of the first, like like you were saying, like Mac Campbell, you know, some of these early, early guys. And um, I, there's there's so much talent back home, along with like like the JDC and some of these other programs. There's starting to be a little more support with that, with the next generation kind of thing. So yeah, I I I'd like to think that I was, I mean, you know, the way I learned was from my dad, right? Like like that's how I got into the game, and you know he. One quote, I forget who the quote's from, but it was always, you know, tell the world what you're gonna do, but show mm -hmm. it first kind of thing. You know, it's like, like I just watched him just do. So you just, it's easy, just do that, you know? And, and so like, I think that if I can do something here, it shows it can be done, because it really hasn't been done that much for us back on that, you know, side of the pond kind of thing. So it's, uh, I'm just, you know, I wanna be at the front lines of that in any way I can to support, like, 
rest of the players and, and for myself as well, my family, I've just everything, you know, greater good kind of thing. I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, I, I'd like to think I'm doing something positive in that aspect. Yeah. How much of an influence has your dad been on your career? Huge been. Like, biggest one. I wouldn't be in this game if it wasn't for him. Like, I remember being, like, 10, and he, like, you know, he's, he's a profound musician, educator, author, professional musician, U.S. number one, late 90s, played at the World Championships, and I remember being a young kid, and he's leaving on Christmas to go play at Circus Tavern, you know, and I'm, I didn't understand at the time, but, you know, I wouldn't be doing this, and at one point, he was genuinely, like, you really want to do this? You're going to be a drummer and a dart player in the U.S.? Like, try telling that to your girlfriend's dad. What do you do? Yeah, I'm a drummer and a dart player. <laughs> yeah, go on a date with it. You know, it's just like... The, but I learned a lot of all the principles that I stand by. You know, my work ethic, everything. Really, effort achievement kind of thing. Like, it's, it's, it, there's a, it's an uphill battle, but, like, I've learned everything I stand for is from him and that. So I think that... I owe it all to, to my dad, honestly, genuinely. Obviously, I've had support and the help of the people and everything along the way, but I wouldn't be here without my dad, genuinely. Music's also a big part of your life. Do you manage to get that mix between enjoying that side of it and enjoying the dark side? It's a lot of similarities, yeah. That was my first thing, man. Like, like music was the first thing I did, was music. I was, you know, drummer, did the music thing seriously, professionally, educator for years, privately teaching drum lessons. And, uh, we, you know, we have an academy back home just everything like it was it was all music but darts was always something I also did and had very early success as a youth player and um, there's just so many similarities with it because it's a simple thing you practice you get better you go play a show you're better when you come back from the show even if you have a bad show you have an audition and performance you're better when you come back like when I as a youth every time I would come to here and get crushed or something mm -hmm. I'd come back as a better player I just went to England and played and lost in 10 minutes you spend all this time and money and you come back and you're like you know what now you're motivated to get back to the practice room get back to the lab you know and um, there's just so many similarities but that was that was the first thing I did was music and I, you know, obviously I still love music I still, that's still my thing but uh, you know I pretty much kind of put that aside I had to pull my dad out of retirement to kind of cover mm -hmm. teaching back home and just you know he's helped me a lot and in that aspect of itself and so like we're you know, it's all darts now, but yeah, music is huge. Still is huge, but yeah. So you played at the World Championship a couple of times. What did you say the career of Danny Lauby is at the minute? You know, it's a, it, the, it's a journey, isn't it? You know, and I, I'd like to think now I'm at a place mentally where I can, I'm just experienced. There's no substitute for experience. I feel like I've learned a lot about myself, my game. I know how to win, obviously know how to lose. You can't win until you lose. I, I, I feel like I'm in a good place. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely at that next level. You know, I'm, I, I don't know if, who, just to quote someone else, like it, it's all mountains, right? You feel like you're at the top of a mountain and then there's a bigger mountain, you know? So it's like, I feel like I'm in a place now where I can, there's nothing, you know, sky's the limit, mm -hmm. you know? So I'm just day by day, game by game kind of thing. But I feel, feel good, I feel like I'm in a healthy place, emotionally, mentally, ready to go, you know? What do you say is the, the next step? What for you would be the goals moving forward? Yeah, I mean, I just, you know, I, I need to get a tour card. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I need to get a tour card already. I need to just win. That's what I mean. Like, I put so much pressure on myself sometimes. And that, that was probably one of my biggest flaws years ago, I think, is uh, why don't you have a tour card yet? You should have a tour card. You should have, you know, you're, like, expected to have a tour card. You know, you're, you know, high-rated player in, in certain degrees of, you know, it's just like, just go game by game, you know, and I feel like I'm doing better by just doing that. Just keeping it, keeping it simple, back to basics almost, you know, just if you do the work, you deserve to win, just win. And then just trying to be hungry and just be aggressive. I'm a very fiery player, so I want to be aggressive as much as I can, so, but I got to keep things simple. So it's just game by game. You know? Can that pressure build a little bit? Yeah, I think, I th but I think everyone's got their own pressure. Like genuinely, I think everyone's got their own demons, their own mental things they're dealing with. And um, I don't know, it's just, yeah, I mean, I think it does build, but I think it also is good because you can't, you can't win without the pressure, you know? Just, you know, I miss my family, I miss my kids and stuff, so, you know, yeah, but I use that. You got to use it in a positive way, and it's, that's a um, hard lesson to learn. You got to fail sometimes, got to fall, get up kind of thing. Uh, but yeah, 
Yeah, a lot of pressure for sure. This is my only job now, right? Mm -hmm. So like every every dart, every game means something to me, and I think that makes you better, like stronger, better player. You know? Does that then shift the mentality where darts maybe before was a, a bit more fun, whereas now it's it's a serious business because I suppose that's what you now got to do to pay your bills. And yeah, like yeah. That. I mean, it's still fun though. I chose this life. Mm -hmm. You know, I like doing what I do. I love what I do, and I love I love competition. I'm I'm a competitive player. You know, so. It is still fun, and yeah, I think that if you don't, if it if it stops being fun, enjoyable, if you don't love the process, like I love the process, if you don't love hitting the practice room and, and doing the work, it's just not worth, you know, it's just not, you're not going to be as ex successful as you could be, and I love the process, I love the game, I'm passionate about what I do, I still want to do this, I just want to not lose, so it's like, you know. Yeah, you know, I love what I'm. I love it. Yeah, I still have a, a great time. I love being on stage. I want to keep being on stage, ideally with a tour card or something. You know, else. obviously I wouldn't see you if I had a tour card, which would make me really sad, man. Because I like talking with you, but that's the next thing I would think as far as like goals is like get a tour card. You know, I need to get one of those. Is there an urgency to get it next year, as far as you're concerned, or would you yeah. be willing to to wait if it worked out for you? No, I don't want to wait. I mean, I obviously, like, I love every opp opportunity I get playing without one, you know, like, it's nice, like, I love every, like, I love the modus, I love everything about modus, I love, I love playing WDF events, I love doing a bunch of this stuff, but I, ideally, when I sit back and think about it at the end of the day, I want to be at the top, mm -hmm. you know, I, like, that's what, like, what are we doing here, you know, like, that's what I want to be doing, so it's like, you know, that, that, but that's where I get caught in my, you know, I should be here, and that's where it's not one game at a time. It's like going against what I'm trying to do now. So it's, it's just, uh, yeah. There's an urgency, but one day at a time, one game at a time, we'll get there, kind of thing. You know, trust the process. And finally, what's this weather like compared to back home? Well, it's just it's nice to be in a historical place, like in a historical country where clouds are made, like like they're just made here and distributed all over the world. And I didn't know that, but after all these years of coming here, it's nice to know that you guys hate the sun and you don't <laughs> like pronouncing R's at the end of words. And that, that's fine, like that, that's, that's your thing. You know, you like, you know, whatever. But uh, no, it's it's not that bad, really. It's, it, you know, I talk a lot of bad stuff about it. Not that bad, but like, it's just cloudy, you know? Cloudy day. Even on a cloudy day, you know, you can make some sunshine, you know? That's the metaphor of the day. You can you can quote that one, guys. Like, don't you know? That's mine. Well, Danny, great talking to you. Thank Wish you, you all the best. Yeah. We'll see you soon. Yes, sir. Thank you.